Hello, and welcome to Girl STEM Academy. In this video, we are going to talk about ChatGBT, the new innovation that has taken the world by storm. We will explore demos and explain the benefits and downsides of ChatGBT. But first, what is ChatGBT? ChatGBT is a viral sensation that reached 1 million subscribers in just five days. By contrast, to reach a million subscribers, it took 10 months for Facebook and two and a half months for Instagram. So why are people so excited about this? ChatGPT is a chatbot launched by a company named OpenAI in November 2022. GPT stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer, which is an AI computer that has been pre-trained with data from the web. Let's go through some demos. As you watch this video, please click the subscribe button and click notifications on. It really makes a big difference for us to create good video content. In our first case of seeing what ChatGPT can do, let's ask it to write a paper. So we can say, can you write a paper on conserving water? As you can see, ChatGPT is creating a draft for us with a subject title introduction, and then it will create body paragraphs and a conclusion for us. As you can see, ChatGPT created a great paper for us full of everything that we had asked it for. However, let's say I also want a summary paragraph. So I can say, can you also include a summary paragraph? One of the cool things about ChatGPT is I don't actually have to specify more than just this one sentence. I don't have to say a summary paragraph about water conservation because it remembers from my previous question what I was asking about. What's even more interesting is that this paragraph that it wrote was different than its previous conclusion paragraph that it had, showing that it's adapting to what we're asking. In addition, maybe I want to include some information that isn't in the paper itself. So I can ask ChatGPT to also add rainwater harvesting to the article. Now ChatGPT will create an updated version with including what we had asked for. Now ChatGPT has created the new paper that we asked it to, and it included the point that we requested about rainwater harvesting. What's even more interesting is that while it kept everything from the first paper that it wrote, it also included the summary paragraph that we had requested in the second question. This is very interesting because it's taking information from the previous questions that I asked and incorporates it into future questions. And that's exactly what ChatGPT is all about. ChatGPT is essentially like talking to a person. It keeps track of all the conversations we have and incorporates all the suggestions into the final paper. Now let's create a new chat. Say I want to write a follow-up email after a job interview. As you can see, ChatGPT creates a great template for us to use, even with a subject line and an introduction and a conclusion. Now let's give ChatGPT the job title, the company, and the person that interviewed you to make this a little bit more personalized. Let's say I applied for the junior programmer analyst role. Jack Smith interviewed me. And my skills include problem solving, people skills, and strong coding skills.
Now, ChatGPT remembers our previous question about creating a follow-up email for an interview, but incorporates the new information that I requested to, it to incorporate. This is a much more personalized email filled with exactly what I had asked ChatGPT to include. As you can see, this email added all the information that we provided with the interviewer's name, the job title, and how my skills match the job. Pretty amazing, right? So far, a lot of what we've been exploring is writing and how ChatGPT can create emails and essays. But ChatGPT can also create code. So let's test it out. Let's have it create some HTML code for recipe web website. Now I can personalize what I'm asking it to do, such as creating headings in blue font. And I can also ask it to add certain things like a hyperlink for a lunch recipe. Now, as you can see, ChatGPT has created all of the code in HTML for a delicious dessert recipe web page. So I can click the copy code button and I can put this into Notepad and then open it up. As you can see, here is our website that ChatGPT completely coded from scratch for us. It includes exactly what we asked for, such as the blue headings, and even a hyperlink to some lunch recipes. Now that we've gone through some demos and seen how much ChatGPT can do, let's get more into the details behind the technology. Even though the company that owns ChatGPT is called OpenAI, it is not really fully open source. Microsoft is a big investor and intends to invest $10 billion in OpenAI and is reported to own nearly 50% of OpenAI's stock and get 75% of its profits. So how does the technology behind ChatGPT work? ChatGPT took data from the internet for just two years from 2021 and trained its AI models on the data it scraped from the web using powerful cloud technology computers from Microsoft Azure. Even though it only has two years of data from the internet, it is still massive and requires a lot of computing power to process and train the AI models. And one easy way to get a lot of computing power is using cloud computing, because you can scale or increase computing capacity using the cloud technology. This AI model uses a technology called reinforcement learning which uses feedback on its interactions to improve its answers, just like we saw in the demos. ChatGPT also used human supervision to rank its answers to give feedback to the AI model. If you hit a like button or if you give feedback comments to its answers, it uses that human feedback to improve its answers continuously. So how will ChatGPT change the world? Will it replace Google search? Why go through the results of multiple search results from Google when you can get one comprehensive answer through ChatGPT? Could it replace workers in many industries, especially those who do desk jobs like writers, programmers, and more? It's quite likely. ChatGPT can generate code in minutes. It can write articles like a journalist. It can write beautiful poems on any topics. It can write essay papers so well that the New York Department of Education has already banned use of ChatGPT in schools. AI experts predict that generative AI like ChatGPT and other products that are expected to hit the market in the next couple of years will create 90% of the online content in the next few years. To know more about generative AI, please check out our video on AI in the link below. So as you can see, ChatGPT is the technology of the future. It has a lot of interesting uses, and we can see that artificial intelligence is going to take the world by storm.
We hope you enjoyed watching this video and learning more about ChatGPT. In the next video, we will explore more demos and discuss the implications of ChatGPT. If you want to see any other video from us on any topic or specific Java concept that interests you, please mention it in the comments below. Check out our other videos on coding in Java and the metaverse. Please click the subscribe button to support us so we can add more content every week. Thank you for watching.